Okay. Uh, thank you for introducing the uh, me too. So, uh, hi, I'm Dong Min Kim, uh, working at the University of Miami, CMAS, and Noah A. O. Man. Uh, today, I will uh, uh, talk about the physical mechanism of the cold state tornado outlook occurring the last December. Uh, additionally, in this figure, uh, according to the US uh, Natural Hazard Statistic Report, Tornado is the one of the uh, hazardous weather, weather event. For example, a uh, tornado is the uh, third dangerous uh, natural disaster in terms of the uh, 30 year average fatalities. And uh, this tornado activities has a large seasonality. Uh, this figure uh, shows the daily climatological uh, tornado uh, number in the US. The tornado uh, sharply increased from the uh, uh, boreal uh, spring and dra dramatically uh, decreased after boreal summer. And this is the uh, special pattern of the tornado genesis during the May to July. The most active uh, uh, area in the, is the uh, central US, including the Texas and Louisiana, as we call the tornado alley. However, uh, the occurrence of the significant uh, tornado outbreak is not only limited to the uh, boreal warm season, but also the cold season. And this is the uh, same, uh, same figure as the upper figure, but for the uh, cold season. Uh, please note that uh, this color bar is much smaller than uh, this in the warm season. And the uh, main uh, picture of the uh, cold season tornado is the southeast shift, shift of the active uh, tornado area in the cold season compared to the uh, warm season, like this. And the cold season uh, tornado, uh, tornadoes uh, unexpectedly uh, impact on the uh, large populate, population area due to the reduced uh, social uh, awareness. So there before, uh, the research about the cold season tornado activity has not um, much received uh, received attention. Uh, it means that uh, we need more study for the uh, cold season tornado activity. But uh, the last December, we had a terrible uh, disaster, as we call the cold state uh, tornado outbreak. And uh, this is the uh, YouTube, uh, 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 one of the news news article about the cold state tornado outbreak. Addition in this uh, picture. The many uh, facility and uh, properties uh, were lost during just two days. And during this event, we have uh, 80, 89 uh, fatalities and 900, uh, 672 injuries and 3.9 billion uh, estimated damage. And uh, the tornado uh, reports are shown in this figure. EF4 and EF3 tornado were traveling uh, from the Arkansas to uh, Kentucky. And this is a very unusual, unusual case. And also this is the, the, the longest traveling uh, cold season tornadoes in the historical record. And compared to the, uh, uh, this, this cold season climatological, to climatology of the tornado activity, the main developed uh, area of of the uh, cold state tornado outbreak is shift, shifted on northward. And uh, we still don't know uh, the what uh, caused this uh, huge disaster. Uh, is this caused by the uh, global uh, climate change or the just internal variab uh, variability? We, uh, we don't know yet. So uh, to investigate the, uh, the region of the, this event, uh, we will look at the large scale environmental condition uh, during the this cold state tornado outbreak. Uh, this is the 500 hectopascal geopotential height as a, a black contours and SST as a, a shading during the uh, cold state tornado outbreak. And we can find uh, we can find the three main uh, features of the environmental condition uh, during the, this uh, event. La Nina and warm Gulf of Mexico and the negative PNA pattern. And this negative uh, PNA is persists uh, over the 10 days. 
And, and, the, and, and in this figure, uh, shading is the uh, low level wind shear and black contours are uh, uh, two meter temperature and green contours are uh, tornado genesis uh, during the uh, cold state tornado outbreaks. And in this figure, the shading is the repeated index and vectors are vertically uh, integrated in most flux. Due to the, these, uh, these uh, large uh, uh, scale conditions, uh, low level wind shear and two meter temperature increase over the uh, eastern US. And moreover, the repeated index uh, over the eastern US is, is, a, is a strong negative value, which, uh, which means an increase in the atmospheric uh, instability. Also, the vertically integrated moisture flux uh, increased over the eastern US. Uh, these all conditions uh, indicate the a favorable condition for the tornado genesis. And the uh, link between uh, these three uh, large scale condition and US tornado activity are uh, well uh, recognized in the previous study. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, Alan et al. Uh, addressed that uh, La Nina increased uh, tornado and hail occurrence during the uh, boreal winter, uh, while the El Nino decreased addition in the shown in this figure. And Molina et al. Uh, found that a warm curve of Mexico uh, SSD uh, enhanced the uh, probability of the significant tornado environment during the boreal winter as shown in this figure. And lastly, uh, uh, Wang et al. Uh, shows that uh, using the singular moment decomposition method the first mode of the SVD of the tornado uh, activity is closely linked to linked linked to the uh, this negative like pattern, a negative penny like pattern. So, uh, so the uh, many uh, previous studies suggest that the each uh, uh, independent large scale condition can affect the tornado activity. However, uh, there is a few study to in investigate the link among these three uh, uh, large scale uh, conditions. So, uh, and uh, we don't know the, what climate variability among the, this is the, uh, is the major uh, factor for the, uh, the cold, state, uh, uh, cold state tornado outbreak. So in this study, uh, we investigate the uh, region of the cold state tornado outbreak and a physical um, mechanism of this uh, using the observation and uh, model data. And we use the uh, daily OI SSD data and NCEP2 analysis data for the uh, uh, investigating the large scale condition. And tornado data is from the SPC report data. The study period is from the uh, 80, uh, 9, 1982 to 2019. And we only focus on the uh, just cold season, November to uh, uh, January. And all data are uh, removed the linear trend to avoid the influence of the global climate change. And we uh, and we uh, we we use the uh, linear three point four index and Gulf of Mexico uh, index, uh, which are uh, red box in this figure, to separate the warm and cold page of the each index using the uh, zero point five standard deviation. And 400 uh, model years in the CM CSM range uh, pre-industrial pre experiment is used to the uh, uh, used to the verify the result derived from the observation and the analysis data data set. And uh, this is the uh, uh, tornado genesis and tornado anomaly in the negative negative PNA case and warm Gulf of uh, Mexico case and cold linear state four case. The number at the right of the title or the sample size of the each uh, each case. So uh, all the, all all all, uh, all three case cases increased the cold season or tornado activity, especially uh, uh, negative PNA and warm Gulf of Mexico case. And interestingly, the, during the La Nina, uh, on increasing in the tornado is not much stronger than this during the uh, 
relative of PNA and one Gulf of Mexico case. And this is the 500 hectopascal uh, geopotential height and SST anomaly. Addition in this figure, uh, uh, both uh, negative PNA and warm Gulf of Mexico case show show an um, atmosphere leach over the eastern U.S. and Gulf of Mexico. So also, uh, even though the warm Gulf of Mexico case is weak, uh, the structure of the geopolitical height is similar to the uh, negative PNA case. This uh, journal uh, generally, a uh, high low high pattern is constant with the uh, uh, negative PNA pattern. And uh, this atmosphere leach of the eastern uh, US uh, lead to the jet stream uh, northward shift. However, during the uh, La Nina case, the, the, there is no atmospheric, uh, atmosphere atmosphere leach over the eastern US that produced the anti-cyclonic circulation over the US. So uh, according to the, this result, the Lania condition may not uh, much affect to gener generate the uh, uh, negative PNA-like uh, PNA pattern. So, uh, the, uh, so this result suggests that uh, negative PNA-like uh, PNA pattern is the uh, most important factor uh, for increasing the tornado activity. So uh, we focus on the uh, negative PNA and a uh, warm Gulf of Mexico uh, a case from that. And uh, this is the uh, a tornado anomaly again uh, for the uh, negative PNA and warm Gulf of Mexico and the case of the occurring both uh, condition uh, simultaneously. And this uh, and in this in this figure, the shading is the uh, uh, low level low level wind shear and contrast are uh, to meet the temperature. And, the, uh, sh and in this figure, shading is the uh, lifted index and factors are uh, moist flux. Uh, during the negative PNA, the warm SST, uh, warm, warm two meter surface temperature and strong uh, low level wind shear appear over the uh, Eastern US. So due to the uh, this condition, the negative uh, lifted index and on increase Increasing in the moist flux are shown over the this uh, uh, eastern uh, eastern US. In the similar way, uh, during the warm uh, Gulf of Gulf of Mexico condition, the all uh, this environment associated with the tornado activity are consistent with the uh, does during the uh, negative PNA uh, case. And uh, during the uh, both negative PNA and warm Gulf of Gulf of Mexico condition, these uh, tornado Tornadic environments are strongly enhanced. Uh, there before, uh, the, this case shows the significant increasing in the tornado activity among the, these three cases. So according to the, this result, uh, negative PNA and warm Gulf of Mexico is closely related to the, each other. So to check the, this relationship, uh, we calculate a composite map of the uh, positive PNA and negative PNA. Case. Uh, uh, this is the geopotential height at uh, 500 hectopascal and uh, SST during the negative PNA and the positive PNA. And this is the difference between the negative and PNA, a uh, negative and positive PNA case. And geopotential height is almost a uh, mirror, Im mirror image. And interestingly, the indifference map, uh, the negative on, uh, on negative uh, PNA shows shows a uh, warm Gulf of Mexico and Gulf of Stream, warm Gulf of Stream. So, uh, so uh, this uh, warming signal may be due to the uh, the atmosphere leach located uh, locate, located in the eastern US. So. The uh, atmospheric leach uh, lead to the uh, shift uh, jet stream northward and increase warm uh, warm advection. So this in turn uh, increase Gulf of Mexico SST and surface temperature over the eastern US. And additionally, uh, we also uh, check the outgoing long wave radiation and two meter temperature. 
uh, during the uh, negative and positive P, uh, positive PNA. Constant with the warm SST over the Gulf of Mexico and Gulf Stream, during the uh, negative PNA, the positive oil anomaly uh, prevail over the uh, Gulf of Mexico and eastern US, suggesting uh, less cloud and more incoming solar radiation. Uh, compared to the uh, those during the uh, net, uh, neutral PNA and a uh, positive PNA. And uh, so the inc increasing in the incoming solar radiation lead to, also lead to the um, increasing the near surface temperature over the Eastern US and Gulf of Mexico SST. And uh, this is the uh, this figure, uh, same figure, uh, is the same figure above, above uh, but for the uh, one Gulf of Mexico case, the patterns are, are constant with uh, this negative PNA case. And we also investigate the uh, probabilistic uh, density function of the Gulf of Mexico SST uh, during the uh, negative and positive and neutral PNA condition. And note that the PDF in the neutral PNA is skewed toward to a cold SST. But the, uh, during the negative PNA, the pro probabilistic of the warm Gulf of Mexico occurrence is higher than uh, this during the uh, positive PNA. For example, uh, the, during the negative PNA, so we had a twice chance of the uh, double chance of the uh, 0.3 degree warming Gulf of Mexico occurrence compared to uh, this during the positive PNA. And um, this is the uh, time lag uh, time lag correlation between the PNA and Gulf of Mexico SST anomaly. Addition in this figure, uh, the negative PNA has a a six day uh, lead time of the one Gulf of Mexico SST. So this result suggests that the negative PNA can uh, model, uh, can can increase the uh, Gulf of Mexico SST through the uh, atmospheric circulation changing. But our uh, addition in this peak, this time lag correlation, uh, there is the, a six day uh, time lag of uh, this link. Uh, so uh, we set up the uh, ad an additional uh, hypothesis to investigate the mechanism of the cold state tornado outbreak. The hypothesis is that a persist persist persistent uh, negative PNA can generate a flocking high over the eastern US, which in turn lead to the north, uh, northward shifted jet and clear sky to, uh, to hit to hit the uh, east, uh, eastern U.S. and Gulf of Mexico, and additionally, the this uh, persistent negative uh, PNA uh, can uh, can drive the can drive the uh, the warm uh, uh, PNA can drive the warm, warm Gulf of Mexico and eastern U.S. and uh, this uh, this uh, negative uh, this persistent negative PNA. Uh, uh, enhance the moist flux from the Gulf of Mexico uh, to the uh, eastern US and also increase the atmospheric instability over the eastern US, uh, uh, which, uh, which in turn generate, generate the uh, enhanced uh, tornado genesis over the uh, cold state. So uh, to examine this hypothesis, uh, we uh, separate the two uh, negative PNA uh, case and one is the uh, short-lived PNA case, which is persistence of the negative PNA uh, less than for six days. And second one is the uh, long-lived PNA case, which is the persistence of the negative PNA equal or more than, longer than uh, for six days. So for example, and this case is a short-lived PNA case, and this case is the uh, long-lived PNA case. And uh, additionally, this figure, the quad state tornado outbreak is one of the largest and of normal uh, long lived uh, negative PNA case. Uh, at the first, uh, we examined the uh, geopotential height at 
uh, five, at 500 hectopascal and uh, SST uh, in the short-lived uh, negative PNA case and long-lived PNA case, negative PNA case. And, and this is the uh, difference between both. The uh, long-lived PNA case has a more stronger, uh, this high-low, high zonal high pattern along the uh, North Pacific uh, and North America uh, than the short-lived PNA case. And interestingly, uh, uh, the long uh, the long lived uh, negative PNA case shows a warm Gulf of Mexico and Gulf of Stream with uh, this strong uh, atmosphere ridge over the eastern U.S. compared to the uh, this short uh, short lived negative PNA. Uh, additionally, uh, we uh, we examined the other uh, environments associated with the tornado activity. So shading in this figure are uh, lifted index and quantum or anomaly. And shading in this figure is uh, a low-level wind shear and the quantas are uh, two meter temperature. So during the, this uh, long-lived uh, persistence uh, negative PNA case, the positive oil anomaly are uh, shown over the uh, Gulf of uh, Eastern US and Gulf of Mexico. And it leads to the incre increase in the Gulf of Mexico SST and two meter temperature over the uh, eastern eastern US. So digit uh, digit condition uh, increased the uh, 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 moisture flux, uh, and uh, and the uh, reached the moisture flux to the northern part of the eastern US, like this, compared to the the short lived negative PNA. And also the negative uh, uh, Lifted index and the positive low level wind shear increased over the, this northern part of the eastern US uh, compared to others uh, during the uh, short lived negative uh, PNA case. A uh, day before the, uh, uh, during the, uh, during the uh, long lived uh, negative PNA, the main uh, development of the tornado genesis is uh, shipped uh, to the, this uh, northeastward. Uh, compared to uh, compared to this the uh, uh, this uh, during the short lived negative PNA case, and uh, this is the uh, this overlap the uh, cold state tornado outbreak as a counter onto the difference of the tornado genesis between the long lived and short lived negative PNA case, and interestingly, uh, this difference uh, pattern is very consistent with the uh, cold state tornado outbreaks. Uh, there before, uh, the long-lived uh, uh, negative PNA uh, generate a blocking high over the eastern U.S. and Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and this, in turn, increase, increase the tornadic uh, environmental uh, condition uh, over the uh, Ohio Valley, where the cold state tornado outbreak occurred. And, uh, and uh, since the observational record are not long enough to establish a significant result, we also use the uh, CSM large ensemble simulation uh, to explore the underlying mechanism. So uh, we did the same an analysis uh, using the 400 model years uh, in the CSM uh, lens with the pre-industrial condition. The sample size of this is uh, 36,000. So it's, it's, it's too large. It's large. And in the PDF of the Gulf of Mexico SST, uh, constant with the observation, the negative PNA uh, shows, uh, shows the skewed uh, PDF toward to a uh, warm SST, warm Gulf of Mexico SST. And on in the this time lag correlation, even though the CSM has a longer lead time of the uh, negative PNA to uh, to warm Gulf of Mexico than observation, uh, this uh, time time lag correlation is constant with the uh, uh, result from the observation. And and this is the geopotential height and uh, SST during the uh, long lived and short lived negative PNA. And this is the uh, difference. Uh, additionally, in the, this difference map, the strong atmospheric leachy uh, appear over the eastern US and 
uh, and uh, warm uh, cold from Mexico uh, during the uh, uh, during the uh, long lived uh, negative TNA. So, and and there is also uh, uh, the warm cold from Mexico SSD signal. So according to the, the constant uh, result from the observation and the CSM uh, uh, simulation, uh, the uh, long-lived negative PNA uh, drive the warm Gulf of Mexico SST and the uh, and warm uh, Eastern US surface temperature, uh, which in turn uh, uh, enhancing the favorable paper, paper condition for the tornado genesis in the cold season. And uh, this is the uh, uh, summarizes a schematic of the cold state tornado outbreak on last December. And La Nina may or, or may not uh, yeah, uh, lead to the uh, generate the uh, negative uh, PNA. Uh, but uh, usually I, uh, I think the La Nina uh, make the preference to the generation, generate the negative PNA pattern. I will discuss uh, this uh, next slide. So, so when uh, the negative PNA persists uh, longer than six days, the atmospheric uh, leach appear over the eastern US and Gulf of Mexico. And this atmospheric leach uh, lead to the uh, uh, shift jet stream on northward and decrease, decrease the atmospheric convection, uh, which in turn increase the uh, uh, increase, increase, increase uh, short wave radiation over the eastern US and Gulf of Mexico. Uh, this process uh, hit the uh, Gulf of Mexico SST and uh, eastern US uh, surface temperature. So, which in turn increase 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 the uh, atmospheric instability uh, instability over the uh, eastern US and uh, moisture of flux like this. So these all conditions are fav favorable for the uh, tornado genesis uh, and tornado genesis. And uh, the main, this is the main region uh, of the uh, uh, generate, generating the cold state tornado uh, outbreak. And to improve, improve the cold season tornado prediction, I think uh, we should uh, carefully check the uh, persistence of the negative PNA uh, during the cold season. And uh, before, uh, 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 before I wrap up the, uh, this uh, presentation, I just want to uh, discuss, uh, discuss that uh, Lania is necessary or not necessary to increase the temperature of the eastern US and Gulf of Mexico. Asian in this figure are uh, generally uh, La Nina increase the temperature over the eastern US through the, the atmospheric circulation change. However, uh, this teleconnection has a large uh, variation. And this is the uh, this figure is the uh, DJF uh, temperature anomaly during the each uh, each La Nina case uh, since uh, 1950. And left. Top panel is the, the strongest uh, La Nina case, and right bottom and this one is uh, the, the weakest uh, La Nina case. So as shown in this figure, the spatial pattern has a, a large uh, variation. So uh, usually the La Nina uh, leads to the uh, increasing temperature over the eastern US, like this, but uh, not always. Some, uh, some, some La Nina case, there is a cooling. Uh, if cooling temperature. So and uh, and also uh, it is not dependent on dependent to the uh, amplitude of the La Nina. So uh, there is a large uh, air to air variation. So it means that uh, I think it means that the uh, La Nina is not a necessary factor to generate the tornado activity in the cold season. But the La Nina uh, 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 makes a, a preference to increase tornado activity in the colder season through the uh, negative uh, PNA uh, pattern. And uh, lastly, I, I also uh, I have an additional uh, discussion point. So uh, does, it, does, does this uh, cold, state, uh, cold state tornado outbreak have a relation to the uh, global warming or not? So according to the uh, child data, the an increasing trend in the colder season tornado occurrence was found across the uh, 
uh, southeastern uh, United, United States. So when uh, uh, we look at the uh, individual months in this table, uh, there is a large month to month variation. For example, uh, a trend in December tornado is not a, not a clear a wider a trend in the uh, November tornado is significant. And, and this is the time series of the tornado number in December and November. And we can find a, a very weak trend in the uh, December, except for the, this uh, last uh, year, which indicates the red bar. But the, on the other hand, the trend in, in the November tornado uh, seems, to, uh, seems to be increased increasing and also there is a, a decade of variation. So uh, in my personal opinion, uh, it is not clear uh, that the, the cold state tornado outbreak is caused by the global warming. So we need uh, more investigate uh, the variation of the negative PNA and PNA are trained and other the tornadic uh, parameters. And uh, I think but I think uh, there is uh, many possibility for the influence of the uh, global warming on the uh, cold season US tornado activity. So maybe uh, this will be a good uh, future study. Okay, uh, that's it. Okay, thank you for your attention.